So oligodendrocytes are the cells that produce myelin in our brain and um, they are one of the numerous cells in our brain. We have very limited knowledge about their you know, function apart from making myelin. And it's becoming uh, ever so clear to us in our lab and uh, others is that they do express a lot of uh, risk factors for dementia. And how do they play a role in the disease progression or even whether they can have um, if they are a cell type that is getting damaged and may contribute to the progression of the disease or whether it is a cell that we need to try to reproduce because they can be regenerated to, as a way to uh, prolong the period of cognitive decline. So this is really questions that we're trying to address in the lab. So at the moment we have so little knowledge about oligodendrocytes but the little we know appears that these cells could have a very uh, bigger play, a role to play than we previously uh, thought. So what we are trying to do is, uh, so the problem is to understand the role of the cells is the models. You need a good model to able to model the disease. And at the moment, the uh, animal models have been used up to date, have used uh, more um, neurospecific uh, promoters. So, the, the importance or the involvement of glial cells and oligodendrocytes has been kind of maybe uh, missed. So what we're trying to do is to generate models where we can actually see the involvement of oligodendrocytes and we're trying to do so also using human cells, so cells from patients with dementia, deriving neurons and glial cells and mixing them together in order to try to recapitulate the different areas of the brain. So in gross, our brain is divided into gray matter and, and white matter. And white matter is about 50% of the brain. And in the gray matter are the cell bodies of the neurons. And then the neurons send their processes through to other areas in the gray matter. And in this middle bit of the 50% of the brain is where these processes are myelinated by oligodendrocytes. And that's essential for normal uh, functioning of the brain. So we're trying to replicate this area in, in a dish with human cells and to look into the involvement of white matter on the neuronal health and neuronal uh, uh, function, so uh, it's a neuronal network function. What we've shown uh, is that uh, the oligodendrocytes themselves do express uh, A, beta and tau in the same way as uh, neurons, actually at high levels. They do seem to uh, release uh, A, beta and uh, this can be taken up into neurons we are seeing that oligodendrocytes with, from patients have uh, altered morphology and we are trying to look into the altered physiology of these cells. Um, what we have also, uh, we are more generated now the tools to, to express, to do our culture system to really address this and what we are very excited about is um, where we think could be an important aspect of dementia is to model uh, hyperintensive lesions. So you see that there are white matter lesions that happen in the brain in the white matter as we age and then they actually accumulate more when we are uh, with uh, cognitive decline. And we've just generated a model where we can generate these type of lesions in cell culture, focal ischemic lesions and record the uh, changes of that. So that's really where, where we are at at the moment.